Hello, my name is Robert Vodovsky. I'm 19 years old and I'm a freshman at Columbia University. I started fencing when I was around 10 years old. I was doing a mixture of sports like uh, swimming, soccer, some tennis. And I asked my dad what sports he did when he was growing up and he mentioned fencing. So uh, I thought I could try it out and I've been doing it ever since. I've been fencing for about 10 years now. What I enjoy most about fencing is the intensity of the sport and winning. I'd say my, most, my biggest accomplishment is getting second place at uh, the Cadet World Championships in Verona, Verona Italy in 2018 and also uh, getting fourth place at Youth Olympics in Buenos Aires, Argentina also in 2018. Those results made me realize that uh, made me realize different things, such as uh, all the hard work that I put into really does pay off. Um, it also made me a lot more motivated uh, to do better at future tournaments and make me made me want to uh, train harder. Yeah, I'd say those results. Uh, changed my mentality of it, proving to myself that uh, I was, you know, at the top with the, with the best in my age group. I'd say the moment I realized when I had a true talent in the sport was at the 2015 uh, San Jose Nationals, uh, where I was 14 years old, and I placed third in the cadet group, uh, which was a couple of years older than my age group and then I also placed uh, somewhere in top 16 in the junior group which was even a bigger age gap so at that that tournament made me realize that uh, I do have a true talent for this sport. My goal in fencing is win the NCAAs and IVs with my Columbia with the college fencing team with Columbia and also hopefully after that, make the 2024 Paris Olympics and fence for the American team. I keep myself motivated by uh, watching my, my idols in fencing, such as Aron Siladji, who is a Hungarian fencer. And, and I like to, uh, I watch him a lot because I th he's personally, you know, I'm also Hungarian and he's Hungarian, so uh, there's a, some kind of connection between that and I think he's you know he's a multiple or two-time Olympic gold medalist won many world championships so I look up to him and that's how I keep my motivation up. My favorite workout that helps my physical ability is probably anything that has to do with cardio so running or biking or swimming uh, I think swimming is a really good uh, exercise to you know get a whole body workout, and also to keep up my endurance and stamina. Fencing has impacted my life by, in different ways. Um, one of them being, uh, being recruited to the men's fencing team at Columbia University and also being able to study there. Uh, other ways is it taught me uh, time management, brought my work ethic up a lot, and it also allowed me to meet new people and travel across across the world and see new things and places. When I was growing up and fencing and practicing, I would usually practice around four or five times a week. I'd come in and some days would be two hours, other days would be two and a half hours, and there would be tournaments every now and then, either a North American Cup, which is somewhere in the United States, or uh, somewhere international, typically in Europe, and I would have, to, and there would be long travel times to go to the ones in Europe over the weekend. My favorite place I visited is probably uh, Hungary for the Cadet World Cup. Although I didn't do very well there, um, I did get to see my family who was there, 
and stay there for a while. Uh, my favorite hobby to do to outside of fencing is probably just working out five or six times a week just to keep up my physical strength and stamina endurance. If I had to describe my coaches in one word, I'd say my coach Chris Hristov is uh, very hardworking. My second coach, Hristo Hristov, is passionate. And my third coach, uh, Tetsi, is motivating. I think my coach Chris is uh, very hardworking because with all the lessons and practices I've had with him, there was never a time where he wasn't giving his 100% effort and making sure that we were doing our best even on our worst days. He's very, uh, he cares about all of us in terms of how we practice, how we do at tournaments, and yeah, he just puts in every, every ounce of effort into all of our practice schedules. I'd say for Christo Hristov, or also as Maestro, he's very passionate because he's been in the game of fencing for a very long time. Uh, he has a lot of experience. He really knows, you know, the true art of fencing, and he brings that on to us, which is inspiring. I'd say Tetsi is uh, very motivating because when, when we're at tournaments and she, it's visibly, it, when she sees us visibly, you know, down or nervous or anything, she's always there to help us out and make us feel a lot better and more motivated at tournaments. If I could go back and change my approach in terms of going to tournaments, um, there would be tournaments where I would feel very pressured or nervous and there'd be other tournaments where I feel more relaxed um, and for the tournaments that I feel more pressured and nervous uh, I would change my how my mentality going into the tournament because although nervous nervousness is a good thing to have too much of it can be harmful and so I would just change how my mentality about how nervous I was and you know calm myself down and relax a bit more. I see myself in five years hopefully at uh, graduate school uh, for business after graduating Columbia possibly being a, an Olympian. My parents impacted my fencing experience because they were you know they're one of the biggest reasons why I am where I am today. They're very they you know, push very hard and they, they're always there for me in my tournaments and always got me everything I needed uh, to do well. They taught me work ethic and uh, they just pushed me really hard. The advice I give to young fencers is probably just give every single bit of energy you got in, in practice and also to try to fence with fencers who are a bit more experienced so you can learn a lot from, you know, from those bouts. And although it, it might seem like you're losing a lot at first, or if there's a practice where you don't feel motivated or you just feel really tired, you just got to give it all you got, and one way or another, it'll pay back. The tournament where I felt most control of my fencing was the Div 1 NAC in Salt Lake City. You know, as soon as I woke up, it was a pretty early event. It was at 8 a.m. As soon as I woke up, I felt pretty good about myself, pretty motivated. And as soon as I started warming up, I, I knew I had my thoughts and fencing in order. And I fenced really well in my pools. I went 6-0. and And I eventually made it to, to get seventh place in the Div 1 NAC, which was really accomplishing. So I'd say that's the tournament that I felt most, most in control of my fencing. Some fencers that I looked up to in my own fencing club were some of the, you know, when I first started, uh, John Halston and Kaido Streets. They were one of the, they were the top guys at the fencing club at the time. And they did really well at tournaments and I fenced them a lot. And of course I was losing to them uh, when I was first fencing them, but I did learn a lot fencing from them. And uh, I'd say that they definitely, you know, helped my fencing in a significant way. 
As far as the social aspect of fencing, uh, it's definitely a big part of the sport. You know, going to being able to go to different parts of the country and also different parts of the world with people that you have trained hard with is definitely a fun and adventurous thing to do. You're able to, you know, see new things and try new things and meet new people, which is always a great thing. The people that I have trained with for the past 10 years or so are some of my closest friends. We went through the same things with each other, like practice and going to, going to different tournaments and different parts of the world. And the big aspect about fencing is that you make these pre really close relationships with, with people, especially the ones you practice with for years. And that's definitely a big part of the sport.